We are talking about walking for a cure. Lupus is an autoimmune disease that affects one and a half million Americans, but awareness still remains very low. It affects millions worldwide, five million to be exact, and it causes pain and inflammation throughout the body. Symptoms range from fatigue and joint pain to impacting organs, including kidney and heart disease. Now it can affect anyone and nine out of 10 people with lupus are women. So this weekend is the Walk to End Lupus Now in Jacksonville. And joining me now are two people who are taking part in the event. We have mother and daughter, Margot Burton and Jayla Royal. So Hello. thank you so much hey. for um, being here today. No problem. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Jayla, let's start with you because I know you were diagnosed with lupus at a very early age. And just talk about what it's been like living with the disease. So yes, um, I was diagnosed with lupus when I was seven years old, and just living with it has been a roller coaster. You have your days where it's up, where it's down. You don't know when it's going to hit you, when it's not. And being very active on campus at Florida A&M University, I have just been, you know, taking it one day at a time, but still not letting lupus stop me from doing what I want to do. And it's awesome living with it for a long time. And listen, I understand what you're going through because <laughs> I was diagnosed at 27 years old. And so I can't imagine, though, being diagnosed at seven and just going through that. So, um, Margo, could you talk about what it was like having Jayla be diagnosed at seven years old and then what that meant for your family? So from a child being seven years old, having never taken any medication before, um, to now having to take four to six different medications. So we started to experience these changes within her body. You know, the kids want to know, why was she so chubby now? You know, the steroids were blowing her up. So it was, it was a, a huge learning experience for the entire family, learning how to cope and help her cope and understand and really speak firmly about lupus and you know that nothing's changed but a diagnosis that's all <laughs> absolutely and it's just you learn to live with it right yeah yeah so i know that you all have a foundation called jayla smile and i know that you know when you think about it lupus people really don't know exactly what it is is this a way for you all to help raise awareness about the disease yes so jayla smile is a nonprofit organization dedicated to children and families affected by lupus and other chronic illnesses so we try to spread awareness through back to school giveaways um, stuffed animal drives for sick children in the hospitals and things of that nature just so that they too can learn to live and succeed no matter what their circumstances are. All right, so you can definitely relate, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> those kids can relate. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they really do appreciate that. And I know that this has just been something you all have done for so many years, Margo. Oh, could yeah. you talk a little bit about what that impact has been like? Well, since we started the organization in 2010, uh, again, Jayla was seven, and we had to branch out to children with other chronic illness and diseases because it's just very rare that the lupus is diagnosed at such a young age. So seeing the impact that we've had, being able to provide supplies to hundreds of children over the past now 14 years, um, even the Lupus Foundation of America, um, they never had a walk in Jacksonville before. And so when we started having our walks, back in the day, you know, we finally rallied and got them here. You know, it's, it's been phenomenal because now um, this has been um, I think this is, they're almost in their 10th year. I think next year will be the 10th year. Which here. is amazing. Yeah. So could you talk a little bit about speaking of the walk, why it's so important for both of you to walk this weekend? We Listen, <laughs> um, this is how we got started. Uh, I love that, that picture of Jayla and her grandmother who also is a lupus survivor. We walk for my aunt uh, who lives in Georgia, who's also a lupus survivor. All of the people that we've met along the way and raising awareness to let people know that you can still. Uh, uh, lupus affects all of the people, men, women, and everybody. So just come out and support them. Show them that they're here for them regardless, no matter what. Absolutely. You co sign, yes. right? What yes. She said. Yeah. What she Mom said. got it, right? <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, and that's, it's great. So the walk is at 2 p.m. on Sunday. I just want to know, let people know that I'll be the MC, fellow lupus warrior here. So I'm very yes. excited to see you all walking. I'll be out there walking with you. It's at the Riverside Arts Market, again, 715th Riverside Avenue. If you want more information, go to walktoinlupus.org slash Jacksonville. And then, of course, we'll have more information on newsforjax.com. But I just want to thank you, Jayla and Margo, for being here thank and you. sharing Margo, your story. You. It is so important to get the word out about this. And I know that your team is Jayla Smile, yes. right? Yes. And so for more information about Jayla Smile, how can people... Um, Get in contact with you for that. You can follow us on social media at Love Jayla Smile or our website, www.jaylasmile.org. 
All right, and it's just us. a little special plug. <laughs> Part of the greatest sorority in the world. Yes, Delta Sigma Theta both of us. Incorporated. Yes, so thank, thank you. you all. Thank yes. you, sis. Thank yes. you. Yes, thank you, Star Wars. All right. <laughs>